Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Jalen Says. And today we're with Kali Spragans. How are you today? Hi, I'm good. How you doing? Great. So can you introduce yourself to the audience for the people who don't know? Hi, my name is Kylie Sprague. I'm 14 years old, and I am currently starring on a new Netflix sitcom called The Upshaws with Mike Epps and Wanda Sykes. Nice. So um, how was your experience filming there? It was real different. It was very different. And I was really nervous, but everybody was real cool and down to earth, and they're amazing people. Nice, nice, nice. So what was your most funniest moment on set? Everything is be- like the fact that they're they're comedians in real life. So when we're on set and you're saying something in the scene, it's like you have to keep your control that you don't laugh and mess up the whole scene. But er- er- like we're all a cl- real close family, so the fact that we was really close made everything really easier. Nice. So, um, how was filming your first episode? We actually start filming backwards, right? Like everything we started with the fourth episode. Oh. So that was kind of confusing because I didn't know what happened before that. So you could see how nervous I was in the fourth episode and how I was in the first one because we didn't film the first one. The fourth episode, I was real, <clears throat> I was real scared. Like, am I going to be able to work the same way that they work and do as good as they do and stuff like that? So, yeah. But other, but actually it went really well. The director was, it was everything. Nice, nice, nice. So, um, what is your best episode? Overall I, favorite. My favorite episode would be the one. It, I was drinking a beer <laughs> with my um best friend. It wasn't real. It was an Odell's beer, and it was not alcoholic. And it was my favorite because we it was during the the pandemic, so we couldn't drink off each other. We had to keep switching beers, call like cut action, and keep switching. That was my favorite one. And the beer was real nasty, so it was just very. That's my favorite one. Wow, nice, nice. So, now, what was your best scene? Not the best episode, not the best. My no, best, best scene. Really, my character wasn't a very emotional character, but my best two scenes is when I had to, it was, I was talking to my mom in one, and we had to sit and be, I had to give her some advice about her relationship with my dad, and I had to be very, soft with it and very emotional and then my other one is when i had to kelvin my uh my ghetto twin i had to yell at him in the school hallway and I had to get very mad and treat him so those are my favorite too because that's the people could actually feel my emotion and i felt like like okay i got to do this better than all my other ones yeah nice wow so how did you get into your acting career um, I, I always wanted to go to Hollywood. I never said how, but ever since I was three, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go to Hollywood. I'm going to go to Hollywood. And yeah. my cousin was an actor. His name is Twan Cruz. And he had a screening. He had a screening for his show. And I went to the screening. And yeah. I'm like, I'm like, um, okay, yeah, I want to do that. <laughs> so I met his manager while I was out there, like, at the screening. And she loved me. So she was like, okay, come do a table read with us. I went and I did my first table read and then we went from there. We went from there and we worked on um my first home, my first, it's called a web series on YouTube called the Kylie Homeschool Hygiene. And we went from there from the agents and everything. I have an amazing agent team, like an amazing team. So they are the reason that I am where I'm at right now. So what was your favorite moment acting? Didn't have to be a favorite scene, just your favorite. Working with other working with other people because you like the chance to experience a whole lot of new people. I had to work with a lot of different people that I wasn't really used to. So they had to I had to get used to get like stepping out of my comfort zone to get to know people because I'm a very quiet and a close person. So my favorite part was working with the cast, like everywhere, plays. Anything I've ever did, I've loved the whole team. Everybody loves me and I love them. So it's just meeting new people makes everything so much better. Nice. So you were leaving from a restaurant? Yeah, me and my cousin and my grandma, we were walking. So we I would just need some fresh air. It feels so good outside. Nice. So what did you get? We got some chicken. You know, Chicago, Chicago has the best chicken. Hmm. I never had Chicago chicken. You have to have some Harold's chicken because they got the best kind ever. Wow. Okay. 
Oh. I'll, I'll put that on my bucket list when I get. You have, to. you have to. Then you gotta call me and let me know how you like it. <laughs> I, I probably will. <laughs> so, speaking of food, what is your favorite food? I used to love macaroni and cheese, but now I have this craving for steak every day, and I love steak so much. But only my mom's steak, though. I can't eat steak from anywhere else. Like, I have to eat or anything. It has to be homemade steak. Nice, nice. Now I make some steak too. It's it's pretty nice if I say so myself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how's your experience growing up? I had a, I wouldn't say a rough childhood. I it was it wasn't easy either, but it was like I had a lot of people down, doubting me and a lot of oh you're not gonna make. I was bullied for like a long time at school. But I had to overcome that, and everything went in one ear and out the other one. And we had to, it was real hard because it was just me and my grandma at first, you know, working with it. We, it was just me and her. No one was really helpful with it. And then everybody got involved, and I was way easier. And now my childhood, it was crazy. From all my siblings to all the family issues, and then my family getting into it about the acting and stuff. It was real crazy at first, but now we, we getting used to it getting used to it so how was your first experience acting my first time acting was doing the um web series on youtube and i felt nervous because i was like i don't know what to do but every, it came so naturally to me it was very it's a gift like the fact that i really didn't have to like get taught anything or any like go to classes it was just so natural and it i just it wasn't confusing or all at all I was sick half of the time we were filming it, but wow. I did not let that stop me from, you can't even tell I was sick. I'm very de wow. dedicated to what I do. Wow. Nice, nice. So you're also on Empire and a lot of other shows. How was that experience? Empire was very cool because it was not hard to get into character because I know how to turn it on and off. I'm a very, very cool person. Nice. I'm a very cool person and but at the same time, I do have a mean side. So doing Empire, it was very easy to just snap into that bossy side because I do have a lot of siblings that I have to boss around. So it was very easy and very comfortable to do that. Nice. So do your siblings have an interest in acting too? Yeah, I actually got a lot of my cousins and my siblings started modeling. My brother just booked this commercial. My sister worked with Lola and the boys a few times. And then a lot of, them, and we, a lot of my other cousins are modeling. Wow, nice. So you're also a model. How is your experience in that? That was, I love taking, pictures my favorite thing. I love pictures. Pictures are, I would take a picture every five seconds as I, if I can, but I'd be running out of storage on my phone. But I love pictures, everything. It's like face and just everything. So when was the last time you did model? I would say the last time I recently was, Head, my headshots. It's not modeling, but I did have to take some headshots for the last time I actually got some professional pictures done. And it was very, we, we love, we love, we love the camera. Nice, nice, nice. So, um, do you think of, you know, creating any movies yourself in the I, future? Yes, I do so bad. It's just that I'm on a writer's block, we call it that. I wouldn't really know what to make it about or anything. So I'm just real nervous, but I feel like I'm not going to force it. I'm going to let it come to me, and it's going to be a masterpiece eventually. So what are the other career choices that you want to indulge in and try to do? I want to be just like Tarai G.P. Henson. She's a director. She acts in everything, and she's a producer. So I want to be just like her. I want to direct stuff, I want, but I also want to act in it, you know? So I want to do that. I want to be a teacher, too. I want to be able to host and have my own classes and help other kids, like the less fortunate kids or something like that, and help them sh know that it's a way, other another way to make it than just be in the streets and stuff. I want to make every, start a completely different path for everybody to follow. Nice. So um, what are your hobbies? What do you do besides the screen? And I'm a cheerleader. I'm, yeah, I'm a cheerleader for the Chicago Bulldogs, uh, and I'm the captain of the cheer team. Nice. I like to dance and music. Just anything with movement, I have to be on my feet for a while. Because if I don't, then I would never leave my bed. Wow. Wow. So, what are some extreme hobbies that you want to do? 
I want to run track, but I'm very, I'm, it's crazy because I'm lazy, but I, I'm always on my feet. But I'm really nervous about running track because it's the way my best friend runs track and the way she complains about all the movement and stuff, I can barely run down the block. I can't, but I'm really fast though. I just have a hard time catching my bro. So you could run really fast, but not for long distances. Yes, yes. So after, you know, the whole pandemic's over, what are things that you want to do that you couldn't do before? I want to go out. I want to have a party. I love parties. And when I saw my friends, I want to have a big party. Because now since the show came out, I've met a lot of new people. And we haven't really been able to connect through the phone virtually. So meet them in person and have a big little party or a get together. So you said a bake party. A, a big party. Oh, 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 I was just going to wonder if you cook. Oh or no! Just, I could cook some good noodles out in the microwave, but I can't make I can't make no other food. So, so you're the type that would burn a grilled cheese sandwich, or would you make a great grilled cheese sandwich? Probably not. It might be weak, but it's okay. I can learn. Nice. Yeah. So, do you have an interest in cooking? Not really. It's not really my thing. Like my mom always tell me to come upstairs and watch her cook, and I don't really feel. I don't feel it. I don't know. It's not really my thing. Yeah. What are other things that you want to do? Like, if you had a dream show that you'd like to act in, what would it be? I want to anything supernatural, like a supernatural character. I want to be a werewolf, a vampire, anything like that. Wow. I want to see how that's filmed and how the things and the makeup. I want to see how that's worked. I want to do that so bad. Right. So what is your favorite TV show? My favorite movie is... Twilight, but my favorite TV show in Vampire Diaries, Teen Wolf Originals, anything supernatural. I love everything supernatural, but I'll say my favorite out of all is Vampire Diaries. I've watched it eight times. I could beat every character in the show by myself. You know, as someone who never watched that show and never even heard of it, I'm like, oh, well. I, I mean, taking up every character in a show, any show is. You have, you have to, who like you and everybody else need to go watch Vampire Diaries right now. After we're done with this interview, because people say it's boring at first, but you have to understand what's happening in order to get into the show. It's a love triangle with the brothers and the girl, vampires, everything, werewolves, witches, dragons. It's crazy. Nice, nice, nice. Do you have any pets? Um, no, I do not. But my family, like my household, we don't have one specifically. But my family does have a lot of dogs. We love dogs. Nice. Do you have an interest of getting a pet? I want, I want a a, a micro poodle, like a teacup poodle. But I want one of those. They they're really they're like dogs, but they're really small and with a lot of fur, and they're just so fluffy, and they can fit in my hand like this. I want that. But it costs two thousand costs two thousand dollars and it dies really fast. You know, no no wonder your parents didn't get that. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh look, I have my new poodle. Yeah. Uh two months later. Oh, where's your poodle? Uh, uh we don't want to talk about it. It it it, it just died. But yeah. So where do you see yourself in five to ten years? Um, winning an Oscar for, nice. for directing, writing, and act starring in a movie that uh, in a movie, yes. Nice, nice. So, what are your life goals? I want to be different than just life. I want to be different than like from than what I'm used to. I want to help a lot of people and start a completely different pathway than everybody else. Like, I want to be completely different and show people that you do not have to be, you have, you can do what you, whatever you set your mind to. I want to do that. That's my goal is to be a legend and to be an idol to some people to help them understand you could, you, you could be whatever you want to be. Nice. So, right. In 
in like way, 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 way into the future. Like way into the future. What do you want people to see you as? I don't want anybody to see me as cocky. I know that. I hate that word. I would never want to be. I want to be as humble as I could be. I want them to see me as a little girl from Chicago that set her mind to something and that did it. That's what I want to be seen as. They want to be seen as a great icon, you know, yeah. someone who mm -hmm. can be under, like yes. was the underdog and right. stuff. Nice. nice, nice. So, how do you um? How do you think the bullies are thinking right now? That's just the question. They probably want. They probably feel it's like, dang, she really did it. They probably really shocked. They probably as shocked as I am. Like, dang, this girl did it. Because at the time, I did doubt, doubt myself. Like, I don't know if I can do this. But I feel like they really looking at me like, she she did it. We did all that for none. How did you feel when you got casted for the role of Leah in... The Upshaws. I was, a sh I was, everybody was crying around me. I'm just sitting here on the phone, like, just smiling. I didn't know if they wanted me to cry or anything, but I was not crying. Not on camera, they was recording me. I was just, okay. I was very proud of myself, and I don't give myself a lot of recognition, and I was very, very proud of myself. Nice. Right. Right. So, what was the favorite, besides the Upshaws, what was your favorite thing you acted in? It's this college student film called Mulatto. It was about a, like, about a mixed girl. Her mom was black and her dad was white. And her mom left her dad because he was alcoholic. And then he beat her. He beat the, me. He beat my character. He beat her a lot. And that was my favorite. That was my favorite character to play out of everything I could ever do. Wow. Wow. So how was your experience filming there? It was A lot of uh, so I was really nervous. I was, I was really nervous. Uh, you cut out a little bit. Can you repeat? I said it was hard because I had to get into a lot of facial emotion and stuff, and I had to like understand the character. Yeah. Nice. So, what are your, what are your interests? Not stuff that you do already. What are your interests that you like to do? Not acting, not career choices, just things that you want to learn how to do. I want to learn how to be, I want to learn how to tumble and flip. That's what I want to learn how to do. Gymnastics? Flip, be a gymnastic. Yes, gymnastics. That's what I want to learn how to do. do. Do you know how to do a backflip? I can't even do a car wheel. It's a process. It's a process. <laughs> I want to learn how to do a backflip. I'm still learning. It's been five years. Exactly. On and off. Mostly off. <laughs> yeah, but you will learn, you will learn. So, where, where do you see yourself? Like, as a person, where do you see yourself right now? On right to now. level 100. Like, right now. level 100 at where you finish your career and what level are you right now? I'm just get to level two. I'm nowhere near done. Just at level two. Nice. Just get to level two. It's so much more in the future. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you see yourself in the future besides acting? Just where do you see yourself? I was thinking about being a lawyer if my acting didn't work out. And a if not a lawyer because I can really stand my ground very hard. Hmm. Is there any other reason that you like to be a lawyer? To help people that's innocent. There's a lot of people in Chicago that get charged for in the a lot of stuff that they didn't do. Yeah. Oh. So when you were younger, before you thought of, you know, being an actor and stuff like that, what was your first career choice? To be the president. <laughs> The big president. Nice, 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 nice. I mean, it's still possible, very mm -hmm. possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what is your like? If you could have three jobs: a lawyer, an actor, the president, and what else? Four jobs. A teacher. 
Yes. Yes. Now five jobs. Because you always said teacher. A boo, a bodybuilder. Yeah, nice. Why a bodybuilder? Just want to, you know. Because I need to get my body in shape too. So if I'm getting paid to do it, it's way easier. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So what do you do as a kid besides acting and just you? Family stuff, barbecues, jump rope, hopscots. Handshakes is like play Uno all the time. Nice. Like my family is just family is everything to me. How good are you at Uno? It's a very intense. It's a very intense game. I don't play about that. I am. I am the goat at Uno. Yes, I am. Yes. I I can't win a game. That's very impressive. I will teach you, but without cheating, I will teach you. It's all about the mindset and the card that is in front of you. Have you ever cheated in Uno? Yes, I have. And I am and proud. Camera. <laughs> and I am proud. Okay. Okay. Did you get to play Uno with your cast? No. No. We, we did get to dance a lot. Not Uno, but we got to dance a lot. And TikTok. We did TikToks every day and we learned TikTok dances, but we never could do the TikToks because we was always working. Mm. So how would you rate their dance skills? And this is definitely off the record. Definitely off the record. It's eight. I, I'm good with learning it and doing it. Facial expressions is this that I have to learn how to be more tighter when I dance. How about your cast? And this is definitely off the record. Definitely off the record. A 9.5. Pretty, pretty generous. Pretty generous. That's mm -hmm. pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. Nine point five. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Mine's a negative nine point five, but. Okay. Still. I will teach you. I need. I'm gonna teach you how to play Uno. I'm gonna teach you how to dance. Everything. I got you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So. Did you ever, like, not w just one, did you ever get to do one TikTok with your cast? Not at all. But I did get videos with them, just not a lot of, not a lot. Oh, yeah, yes, I got a video with my brother on the show, his name Diamond. We got a lot of TikToks. So we hung out all, when I say literally every day, we hung out all the time. We have a lot of videos and TikToks together. Wow. That's nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Now, this is a very serious question. Are you ready for this? Yes. Now, see, I don't ask this to adults because they ain't ready for this. Are you ready for this question? I'm, I'm ready. Are you sure? Now, see, now, see, you could ask for another question if you want, but... No, no, I'm ready. Okay. But before that, what is your favorite subject in school? Free period. That's not no, true. no, seriously, my favorite subject is math. My favorite subject is math. Math is everything. I love math. Me too. My, it gets my mind working. Math and English, because English, I love to type and write essays and go get speeches and debate. I love that. So you do debate club? Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. So what was your first debate about? It was about if we should wear uniforms or not. I won, because we don't wear uniform. I won that. Nice, nice. How about with the uniforms, though? My school colors are purple, orange, and uh, it's just all it was. I go to a perform art school purple, orange, red, and khakis. You tell me how bad you think that would be. Look like a uh, rainbow or or a skittle or a pack of skittles. Not the best colors, not the best colors. Know. Glad you that. So, what was your favorite debate about? If the internet sets unrealistic standards for young girls, it's very true. It's a lot of people say no. It's depending on how they think about themselves. No, if I go on Instagram and I see how everybody is idolizing this one girl that has the perfect body, I would think to myself like, why I don't look like her? 
like stuff like that. So I would definitely, that was a real close argument, debate about it. But I did win that one as well. Nice. 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 Did you ever lose a debate? Yes, I lost. I lost the debate about if we should have phones in school or not. I was that we should. They that we shouldn't. They won that one. I mean, there's a lot of reasons that you should, and a lot of reasons that you that should. You should exactly. It was very. That was back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm very upset that you didn't win. Me too, because I'd be bored in school without my phone. I mean, yeah, in free period. I mean, it's free period. They don't even give it back on free period or during lunch. Ha, 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 ha. One of the ten reasons I'm homeschooled. I won't. I don't know if I could be homeschooled. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, why don't you think you could be homeschooled? I like to interact with people. I like my. I love my teachers, and I love being in person. It's hard to learn during through a computer for me, so I'm really learning. I got to work on that because I have to fly around and work a lot. So I have to get used to like just me and my computer. Yeah. I guess so, yeah. I mean, a lot of people have to go to the computer because, well, the pandemic. But, right. yeah. 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 I mean, it's good to practice. Very good to practice. Mm-hmm. I have years of practice. Okay. So what's something that you wanted to do since birth, since the beginning of time that you never learned how to do? Sing. I can't sing to save my life. I took singing classes, voice lessons. I, but if they put me in the choir and stuff, I guess I have a good voice. But I, I, can't, I don't think I, they don't think I can sing my family stuff. But I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm trying. I'm trying very hard. What do you think? I'm almost there. Is I sing from my chest when I need to sing from my diaphragm. diaphragm. I don't know how to say the word. We can learn this word forever. Diaphragm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, at least you're not singing from your neck and your head. Like I yes, used to. Like this, uh, yes, I used to. Yeah, I, know how to. I, I twinkle. twinkle. I, I'm not that bad. But yeah, you sound perfect. Oh yeah, yeah, that's great. That that's that's great thing. So, how long did it take you to learn how to dance? Not long at all. I see something, I remember it, and I repeat what I was told to do. It's just like acting with my script. I read it, it's stuck in my head. Boom. So, when you become an adult and you could do a lot more stuff, what would you plan to do first besides and driving? Actually, and oh. Been bungee jumping or skydiving. I want to go crazy. That's what I'm going to do for my golden birthday when I turn 22. I am jumping out of that plane. Boom. Yeah. Uh, one of the other 10 reasons I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> well, one of the 10 reasons I'm not skydiving is because I'm afraid of heights. Well, it's not afraid of heights. It's af- afraid of falling. Right. The definition of skydiving. Right. Yeah, so bungee jumping and skydiving. Why those yeah. reasons? I want to feel free, like I'm flying. I want to be a bird so bad. Just to feel, be in the sky and feel free and just. Are you going to be the one pulling the shoe or someone else? Huh? Are you going to be the one pulling the parachute or someone else? Someone else. I'm going to accidentally forget. So are you gonna close your eyes at all? No, you have to, that's born in the So I guess you're the person who always goes on the high rides at um, Six Flags. Say it again? So you're the person that always screams yay on the high rides at Six Flags. Uh, you're cutting out. Uh, we can hear you. We cannot hear you. No, uh, we'll give it one second, but while this is 
happening with technical difficulties. We are going to plan our one year anniversary. It's going to be somewhere near this month. And yes, it's going to be great, incredible, and fire, and awesome. Thank you for the soundless claps. Yeah, and we also have Jalen Says TV now live for all content creators, all that jazz, all that cool stuff, all that whatever you do, animations, hosting, music, singing, dancing, whatever you do. And yes, it's Jalen Says TV, and you could DM us at Jalen Aliu Facebook, Jalen Says Instagram. And thank you guys for watching a lot. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit the bell. Hit the bell. Subscribe. Definitely subscribe. Like the video if you haven't already. Like it. And thank you very much. Yes, clapping loudly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And let's see. Hello. Hmm. No. We'll give it one second, but thank you for coming on, definitely. We have someone from the Upshaws, guys. We have someone from Netflix. We have a celebrity here. We have a great celebrity here. Can you believe it? I mean, I honestly can't. I, I even got me a glass tie, yeah. A nice glass tie, yeah. It's pretty nice. Nice, nice, nice. And thank you guys for coming. It's on, It's on. It's been one year. Like, it's been one year since two, three, four, five days. Five days past our literal one year. So thank you guys. Thank you for all the support through this. Thank you, cause I mean, I wouldn't be here without you guys. I'm at so, so many subscribers right now. I mean, we started with zero, but now we're at like 200. 154 subscribers, so thank you. And let's see if it's working. No, we cannot hear you. I I do not know what's going on, but thank you guys for staying tuned. We're going through a little technical difficulties. Thank you for, oh yes, thank you, thank you. I, yes, I, I really like it, it's my second class tie. Yeah, it's, it's pretty nice, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the heart. Thank you. And uh, are you, can you hear us? Can we hear you? Uh, I cannot hear you at all. I do not know what's going on. And uh, it's. Did you hear anything for the mic? Hmm. Uh. Let's wait for these technical difficulties. Can you um leave the live chat and come right back in? Thank you. Oh my gosh, we have a celebrity here, guys. It's incredible. But I mean, thank you guys for staying tuned. Thank you for staying through all these technical difficulties. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We're trying to get to that. Oh my 300 subscribers. We're we're like, oh my, we're at 254 subscribers. It, thank you a lot. It means just a lot. Wow. Wow. Uh, wow. It's, it puts a smile on my face. But yes, we're seeing if it's working right now. I hear that little beep. But thank you guys. One year anniversary coming up real soon. We had to reschedule, but it's coming up real, real, real soon. Subscribe and like, and let's see if it is working. Hello. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Here, yes, it works. Yeah. And now you're going to eat your chicken. Yeah, not, yes, my chicken. Okay. Are, are you going to put hot sauce on it? Mm-mm. Just brought, just um, mouth sauce. I guess. Mm. Yeah, mouth well, yeah, so what is your favorite thing to do on Sundays? No school. Please. Please. 
sleep and catch up on homework. So how was your experience when you first watched your show, the app show? It was really cringy because I was like, it was very cringy. And it was but it was also very, like, dang, I'm on TV. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that, wow. I was very excited and I was very, very proud of myself. You don't yeah. even understand. You should be. It was crazy. Yeah, you have some people in the back. I got one. Say it again. Wow. wow. How was your experience when your family watched it? They were screaming. They were screaming. They was crying. It was crazy. And I, we, I love my family. They're very supportive. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. 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 So, when you first came on the set and all of that stuff, how, like, how was it? Like, besides the nervousness and it know. was. It was it was surprising because I did not know everything was filmed in a box. It was very crazy. So I was like, okay, this is how it worked. I was very, I was disappointed too because it's like, I thought you thought it'd be like the whole house set up. Yes, I thought it was a house, but it was boxes with a lot of good furniture. So to the people that wait, was, wait, so it was just boxes. Everything was filmed wow. in a box. Wow. Mm hmm. Wow. But with very good furniture. Yes. I was like, whoever decorated this and built it did a great job. Yeah. yeah. So, um, at the episode where the mom throws the phone, did it actually break? No. We just put tape on it and wrote little things. And then it was, we, it, it worked. The phone worked like usual, like regular. But. Wow. We never really used it. And when we were filming, we had to put like, blue photos. So when we were doing it, they could add, when they were editing it, they could add like the Instagram stuff like that. But it was never really had Instagram or pictures on there or anything. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So what was your favorite prop? The food. We got to eat a lot during that. I, I never had an omelet before. It was my first time ever eating an omelet. It was great. I never had an omelet before. It's so good. Only if you drown it in syrup, though. <laughs> wow. So, um, did he ever miss the omelet flips? Did he? You know how long it took us. I love diamond. Don't get me wrong, but you know how long it took us to keep doing that because he either dropped the spatula or the omelet. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, how funny was it the first time? It was very funny, but then it got, it wasn't funny after the first 50, the next 50 times. <laughs> it wasn't funny after the next 50 times. You're like, okay, yeah, this one's, this one's it, yeah. Okay, all the lines straight, yeah, all, all the actions, yeah. Yeah, no, no bad lighting, oh yeah, this one's great, I'm gonna flip. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's redo that, back to one. Right. Yeah, back, the omelets were good. Mm -hmm. um, how how many in total did you have to eat? We never actually had to eat a whole one. I can only have bits and pieces of it, so we don't have to keep making omelets again. And yeah. So I'm like, okay, I just took little bites, but it was good. It was good. I could eat it. So did everyone want to try, or you were? They the couldn't have none of my omelet, even if they wanted some. We don't share over here. Yeah, so you took all of it for yourself. It's not caring. Hmm. Caring is not caring, no. No. Keeping. Now, keeping is caring. Because, see, you're caring for the chef that made it. They're right. Showing, you're showing how good the food was. Yes. By not letting the chef try. Mm -hmm. Right, correct. See, keeping is sharing. Yeah. Copyright that. Copyright that. I like how you're eating your chicken beets and piss, be, bits and pieces. Because I want to just put the whole piece of chicken and bite it on here, so I'm just going to wait. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. So, do you have anything else you're filming right now? I well, do you, are you filming right now? Not currently, but I will be very soon. Can't tell you, but I will be very very soon. Nice, 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 nice. So, when was the first time you did a movie? When I was like 12 and I did this thing called Dad and I, it was real cool, real cool movie. It was, a, it was about a girl who lived with her mom, then she had to smoke her dad, and then her and her dad had to get close and stuff like that. It was real cool. I was 12 years old and it still had not came out. They've been trying to get it big, big for a while now. So that was my first time doing it. So they wanted to have like you younger and you Yeah. Older. Wow. wow. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So did you get to see some of the tapes you did and what's already ready from the younger part? Yes, I'm like, oh my God, is that me? I looked I was completely different. I was like, oh my gosh. You looked a lot younger. Yeah. And a lot more different. Mm -hmm. How many times have you changed your hairstyle? Speaking of that subject. A lot. I change my hair a lot. I mm. cut, I let it grow. I've got curls, braids, to bobs, everything. I love my hair. My, my natural hair at first, I was very cautious about it. But now it's like my it's like my go-to. I love braids. Just even when it's not messed up, it's like natural to me. I have one question. Now, see, I got this from one of my audience members. When are you guys going to be filming a season two? I can't tell you when, but I can I can assure you guys it will be a season two. Nice. It's nice. So I hear your fans in the background. Yes, I have my family, everything is just it. it's like little kids and it's like very crazy. They just want to watch me do my interview. Nice, nice. Are they asking for the chicken? Oh, they know not to ask for my chicken. <laughs> they got their own food. So, so you stick by your memo. Sharing is definitely not caring. Not at all. Thank you very much. Nice, but someone finished watching the first season. They cannot wait for the next season. Me too. I can't from the cliffhanger because nobody told me how the next season was gonna go. Oh, I'm, I'm really, really ready to see how that last part's gonna end. Oh, so you still don't know how the next season's gonna be? No. Oh. Wow. Oh. So. For us, you didn't get to see the after party because I, I didn't see the after party. How was the after party? I actually wasn't involved in the after party. It was just the, my auntie and my mom. And my, my auntie, my mom, and dad. Regina, my, and, um, Regina, Mike, and Wanda, they were the ones. They were the ones that got to, they got to be in the after party. So, did you get to show your friends the um, show before it came out? No, probably not. Mm -hmm. Pictures, maybe, but not the no scenes. They're not going to yeah. give me five. <laughs> nope. Did your friends keep asking you about, like, oh, can we see it? Oh, can we see some parts of it? Oh, can we see? No, not really. No. I love the fact that my friends act like I'm a normal person because that's all I want to be. I am a normal person, literally. So what keeps you grounded, one of my audience asked, Miss Betty. I think if I ever went over above and got a big head, they would chop my head off. It's not over here. We all the same person. We all very cool and chill. My family is the reason I do what I do. So who are your heroes slash sheroes? My mom, she is very, she never quit a job until she get fired because she does have a mouth on her 
but she never quits a job. She works very hard to make sure she could provide for me and my siblings. You know, you know, you said that on record, right? What I said. Right. You know, you know, I, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, she doesn't have a mouth. Anybody can hire. Uh, Y'all can hire her for anything. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's definitely what you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah, yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> who besides your cousin, like Anne Taraji P Henson, who's your like favorite inspiration for acting? Zendaya. She could. She showed that she could play a lot of different roles, from a dancing girl, the to the um the greatest snowman was like Efron and to the HBO show she's on Euphoria I've never Euphoria I think that's how you pronounce it she can switch her mood she can just snap into any character yeah no. so who would you like to meet in the acting world someday Justin Bieber is not an actor but we would love to meet him. nice if you could, or Denzel Washington. If you could go back in time and see any actor, or you know, say in the current time and see any actor, who would it be? Okay. Or just any person. Um. Hmm? Um. What's his? He was on Fast and Furious, the one that passed away. I don't know his name. I just know that I love him. And he, I wish I could have met him before he passed. And the song See You Again made me feel very sad about his death and everything. So I want to meet him. What role do you fear the most? And what role would excite you the most? I fear a. I don't really. Because I feel like I could get do it if I set my mind to like if I have to be sad I could be sad if I have to be mad I can be mad happy happy goofy goofy that, that excites me the most well, I'm gonna keep saying it until I keep getting it I want to be a vampire or a werewolf that I will be my life is complete after that so if you had a scene with stunts would you do the stunts yes I did this commercial in Kentucky where I had to ride my bike over the ramp and I was, we were supposed to stop and get another person to do it, but I did it. They told me not to do it, but I did it during one of the takes. Wow. Oh. I fell, but I still did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, the first time I ever racked, I, I fell on my bike. It wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty. Mm mm. How old are you? No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm about to turn 16 in September, so I'm 15 years old. Nice. How old are you? 11. You're very, very mature for your age. Thank you. You're welcome. So you, you can't wait to drive? No, I don't want to drive. I have a smart mom just like my mom, and I will have road range, and then you would just be in the middle of the expressway arguing. So I can't, I will get somebody to do that for me. So, September what? 22nd. Wow, wow, you're very close to my mom. When's your mom's birthday? 26, 13 days from my birthday. That's my little sister's birthday and my best Your little sisters and your best friends. Mm -hmm. So imagine fighting birthday party you're gonna go to. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I always pick my best. Friend. So you, when do you think you will start driving? I could drive now. I just have to get my license permit, my permit. So I'm gonna most likely this summer. Because on my 16th birthday, I'm gonna get a car. If they don't buy, it, I'll buy it myself. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to real soon, real soon. So, how was your experience when you were first behind the wheel? I played too much. So, I'm playing and hitting the brakes too hard. I was nervous. And my mom is 
in my ears. She just yelling. I'm like, if you would stop yelling, I could do it better. But slow like, down. Go yeah. back. Tell me, slow down, slow down, stop, 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 stop. Boom! I hit the brake, and she get mad at me and tell me to get out, get back in the back seat. You hit the brakes too hard. You yelled at me. I panicked. You're supposed to hit the brakes like this. Get in the back. Yes, and and then she back. In the back, she's going to go call everybody. She don't know what she doing. She, I was like, okay. You know what? I, I ain't getting her a car. I ain't getting her a car for her 16th birthday. She don't know what she's doing. Uh-uh. She's going to hit the brakes too hard. Uh-uh. At the red line. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so, what would you wish for your 16th birthday besides a car? A house where I could run away to and nobody could ever find me. Okay. Everybody. Yeah, okay. Nice. Nice. So, when you get into a car and you finally start driving and stuff, where would the first, what would the first place you'd be driving to? To get my cousin and then to run away to Canada. To Canada? To Canada. Or Mexico. <laughs> yes. I swear, we'd be out of here and leave everybody behind. Hmm. So, if you could travel anywhere besides Canada and Mexico, Mexico to get your mangoes, where would you go? Jamaica. I want to ride some jet skis. My family travels a lot, so I, they never take me. So I want. So I want to go. Yeah. Huh. Nice. Huh. So, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? In like a little hut on the beach with no, with no service for anybody to call me. But they would have, I could call anybody and be on my phone without Wi Fi and stuff. Hmm. I, wanna be, I just want to be closed off on a little island or something. Oh, okay. You know, per personally, I, 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 I choose a, a beach with a, a lot of cell service. Mm -hmm. But you know, you know, you could use cell, no cell service and not watch your season fifteen of the Upshaws for ten times straight, but. Mm -hmm. I just got a notification. Oh, yeah, I had your practice. Okay. So, if you could create season two of the Upshaws, what would it be about? Trying to see. Spoiler alert if you did not watch the end episode, cover your ears. Trying to see who the daughter, who chat mother, and like where that little girl come from, talking about she's my daddy daughter. We want to see who she is. Mm -hmm. I would write that. And then I would write my character way more cooler and dress nicer, but she, my character got drunk. Become a vampire. Turn and she would die and turn into a vampire, and then she would kill her family members, and they would be vampires too. And then boom. You know that 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 that, that would work. You know. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll call. I'll call my casting company, my homemade casting company. Yeah, uh, Jalen says entertainment. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Don't make that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But you know, hey, hey, maybe you can make your own show mm -hmm. about someone who's somehow named a uh, Lee Upshaw, who's a vampire. Kills her family and turns into a vampire. Who has quote unquote three ghetto twins? Only two. Only one at first. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You know, I, I'll give that five stars. Mm -hmm. Five stars. 
Well, okay, okay, okay. I, I held I held this question off for too long. It's it's time. It's the hardest question. Okay. Okay. Now, see, this one's hard. Okay. Now, what is your favorite color? Blue and purple. Wow. It was, so, it was the scariest question. Oh my gosh. So why is it blue and purple? Blue brings out my eyes. Purple makes me look dangerous. Okay. Uh, okay then. So um, we still have like five minutes left. So before we get off, can you tell us your information, your Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, okay. TikTok? You guys can follow me on TikTok first, Kylie Renee, K H A L I R E E N. Oh, no, I spelled my middle name wrong. K H A L I R E N E E underscore. Kylie Renee underscore. That's my TikTok. And you guys can follow me on Facebook as Kylie Spragans. And you guys can follow me on Instagram as I am Kylie Spragans. Nice. 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 So now with the four minutes we have left. Is there anything that you want me to bring up that I haven't brought up? No, I think you've covered everything, especially them scary questions. Okay. Yeah, yeah they, they stumble a lot. They stumble a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And by the way, prayers for your um grandma. I, I hope I hope she feels better. Thank you. We have we we have a rough path with her, it's like her treatment and everything. It's been a real rough path, but we gonna pray that she makes it through because she will. Yeah, right back to normal. She's getting better already. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you for coming on. Thank you very much for coming on. Thank you for having me. Yes. And now this is the last question before we get off. Now, this is a very serious, not, not, as, not as big as that um, other question, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll leave you for a second, okay? Okay. It's not that hard. But where do you see yourself after like a hundred years? What do you want people to remember you? A hundred years, I'll be 116. Well, let's hope I'm not. Well, I'm most likely gonna be dead. But let's say I'm very old and I'm a very 116 year old. I'll be a wrinkly old lady that has caretakers and nurses and stuff. But I will also be a legend. Everybody would know my name. Everybody would know where I came from and how I did and what I did and why I did what I did. Yeah. And now this is the last question. After you get season two of The Upshaws coming out, hopefully very soon. I cannot wait. Please, please make it come out soon. Uh, uh, okay. But if when it comes out, will you be returning back to the show? Of course. Thank you. Thank you. I don't have no. -uh. They don't have a choice. They don't put me back on there. I will. I don't know, but I'll do something because I have. I'm the legendary. I'm the iconic, the one of a kind, Aaliyah Upshaw. I will be back. So we will be turning to Jalen says. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So um. For those who haven't heard it, can you say your information one more time? My Instagram is I am Kylie Spragans. Spragans is S P R A G I N S. My TikTok is Kylie Renee, K A K L I R E N E E underscore. And then my Facebook is Kylie Spragans. So thank you guys for coming on. Thank you a lot. A lot, a lot for coming on, Miss Kylie. Thank, Thank you. And um, can you please stay on a little longer for us to chat? Okay. Okay. And uh, thank you to the wonderful audience in the audience. Subscribe, hit the bell, like the video, like it if you haven't already. When your anniversary coming up, real, real, real. Real, real soon, real soon, but our one year, like, 
we, we're past literally one year. It's been so great, so fantastic. Thank you all for supporting me. It's been one year. I wouldn't be here without you. 100 and, I mean, 200, 200, 254 subscribers. Thank you a lot. Jalen Says TV, now live for all content creators, whatever you do. It's for interviewing, modeling, acting, piano, uh, singing, music, whatever you do. Thank you, guys. And if you want to support us, Cash App, Jalen Says. And thank you, guys. Stay tuned and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And stay tuned.